In earlier video, we have seen how to use Apex class inside prompt template. In this video, we will provide instructions but using flow. In the same template, we will use flow instead Apex class. Let's create a template triggered flow first. Our prompt template is type field generation, so we will use this capability. And our object is account. Now we will fetch the cases based on account ID. We will pass the account record ID using input resources. It will auto fetch the account record ID. We need to fetch all the related cases of an account. In add prompt instructions, we will use the loop that we have created to fetch case records. We will provide case subject, reason and description information. Later instructions will be added inside loop so we can add each case record details in prompt instructions and prompt template can share all cases information. If we need to add more prompt instructions after this, we can do that. It will include all instructions for the prompt as per the given order. So we need to add prompt instruction inside loop. Let's do this. Because we need to add instruction for each case record. So our flow is ready. Let's activate it and we need to update the prompt template so that it can use flow. So our flow is showing in resource. Let's add it to the prompt template and remove the apex class.
Let's preview this. If you carefully look at resolution, it is creating the actual prompt which will fetch the summary information. But this time it's adding instructions using flow not the Apex class. So our preview is okay. Let's check whether we are able to generate summary using our template changes or not. We are able to generate the summary after adding instructions using flow. So for this, first we have created a template triggered flow and added some instructions there. Use the flow inside prompt template.